Hello and welcome to our fourth installment in our furniture investigation at Wesley's house. This here is John Wesley's study chair. Um, the study chair has been in the house ever since Wesley lived in it in the 1770s. Um, but it predates the house by a good 50 or 60 years. It's much older than Wesley's house. It dates to about 1710 or 1720. It's made from walnut. Here you can see the walnut. Nicely turned with pad feet here. And it's a very interesting chair um, in that you could either sit on it normally, backwards, or you could straddle it astride and rest your arms on here. These are armrests as well as being a backrest. Um, the idea really was to have it closer to the fire when it was cold, because of course houses didn't have central heating in the 18th century. And it was one way of staying warm in very high rooms. Um, and you could work on it rather than just sit on it. Let me show you how. Actually, you have a little desk flap here at the back, which hooks in at the back and stays up. And you can see here the old, the original label from about 1900, uh, which is when we got this chair into our collection. And there was a second purpose to this. You could actually, and I think the chair has lost a little there, there would have been a slide inside this sort of table, if you like, to hold paper. And you can still see this here. There's a compartment here for paper. Now, as if that went on enough, um, you've got a little pen tray here underneath which folds out and you would have had on the other side underneath the other arm here you would have had a candlestick that would have folded out but unfortunately the candlestick has long since disappeared now however we've got a drawer under the seat here as well which i will probably not be able to show you oh yes it will come out yes there it is So you have the drawer underneath, and again, you could have stored documents or paper or anything else really inside there. So it would have been a really versatile, useful, metamorphic almost piece of furniture uh, that would have been the pride of any gentleman's study at the time. They were quite expensive, and we know that this particular chair, now recovered in a rather ugly wreck scene in about 1900, would have originally had a lovely leather cover, but we know that it was given to Wesley as a gift um, and it probably would have been a prized possession. In the 18th century, it would also have been known as a cockfighting chair because apparently this type of chair was popular for watching cockfights in pubs. That may just be a story, of course. It would certainly have been much more useful by the fire, staying warm, writing letters. So a very nice piece, very early as well, and not many of them around. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.